Are you paying more in taxes for Ben Franklin Transit? A Washington state think tank says so, and they've created a study with recommendations for the agency. Bryant Madrick explains what the report says. Bryant, first off, tell us the name of this group doing the study. Well, Christine, it's the Washington Policy Center, and they released this report. Inside, it discussed everything from Ben Franklin Transit's operating procedures with their buses and vans to how much employees are paid. For example, the center says employee wages have increased 120% from 1996 to 2009. BFT disputes that number. They say the increases took place because of costs of living wages, gas prices, and unions. But they weren't that high. The center also says BFT should reduce or eliminate certain bus routes and invest more time in their van pool program. Franklin Transit has an enormously successful van pool system uh, that is increased in riderships. It doesn't cost taxpayers a lot to operate. In fact, it only costs about a quarter per passenger trip to operate. The bus service uh, in Ben Franklin Transit is a different story. Our fixed route bus system and our van pools serve very different populations, and I think that's it's not really apples to oranges. McMullen adds van pool riders or their employers pay a lot more than other riders relying on regular bus routes. Some of the changes the Policy Center recommends are happening. Because of low ridership in the fall, BFT will combine two routes in Richland, the 20 and the 24, into one new route, the 25. Live in studio, Bryant Madrick, KNDU, right now.